Hello, East End Man here, and welcome to my channel, Cotton Verbal 9. Um, today I'm going to be talking, actually, about Nintendo. Um, I know a bit strange, a COD video on the from the Xbox and me talking about Nintendo. But I want to talk, talk about how uh, Nintendo fell from grace, really, because I was watching this video from on the channel The Gun Shop, who I'm subscribed to, and he was talking about Nintendo, how um, in the last sort of seven or eight years their value has dropped 80 percent, and um, how it's hurting the investors, and um, and that's all thing. And I thought I'll I'll talk about it myself and expand a bit, but more on what Nintendo are doing wrong. Um, if you look at what Nintendo have brought out lately, I mean they brought out the Wii, which sells okay. The actual console itself sells okay, but the Wii is targeted at the wrong people. You know, it's targeted at the the very little kids of the kids market, and it's also targeted at the high end adult market. Meaning, I think that's more of a polite way of me saying very old people. I'm talking 40 plus, 50 plus. Basically, my pa my parents' age. <laughs> um, although my dad's in, in his sixties now. Um, you know, it's it's mainly aimed at these people, um, and the, 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 and the people, like the older people, play it. All they play is really the Wii Sports that come with the game, or they play, you know, or they you know they get these aerobic games you can get. You know, that, that's basically all they use it for, and it's like they play it once in a while and that. And the, the kids as well. I mean, what? No self-respecting parent is gonna go out and buy every month games for the kids, or a couple of games a month for the kids. No self-respecting parents gonna do that. Because for one thing, they ain't got the money. Two, you know, you, you don't want your kids in front of a uh, computer game all fucking day. You, you don't let. You know, so obviously. You know, they're, they're targeting the two wrong groups. Because they don't have the disposable income. They ain't, you know, the, the adults ain't got the interest, the kids ain't got the income to begin at playing games. And then, you know, you got this huge chunk between, say, ages of 10, I would, I would say 10, you know, obviously all the way up to through the teenage years, the 20s, the 30s, even the 40 year olds, like the adults who love first person shooters like COD. Battlefield, Mass Effect, Grand Theft, all, all that, all the 18 rated games, all the blood and gore and guts games, you know. These are the games that sell. These are the, these are the games that make companies like Xbox, companies like Sony, the money. It's these, these games that, that really sell consoles that makes money for these, for these people. And, you know, Nintendo are missing that because they're stuck in the 80s. You know, they um, I'm sorry, but how many Mario titles can you bring out? I know we will probably go through the same thing about, about COD, but, you know, I'm sorry, Mario... I preferred Mario 1. A anything after Mario 1 was a bit of a... bit of a letdown for me, to be honest. I, I didn't quite enjoy it. Uh, Mario on the Game Boy, on the original Game Boy, People can remember that on the whole black and white and um, some Mario's on that. That was good, but I don't know. I just think Nintendo's missed a trick here, and all this 3DS again is targeted for kids. It's not targeted for the adult that, who has a disposable income who can go down the shop and buy these games. I mean, for what game on the Wii is actually is actually for adults? Um. Because, you know, I, I, I was looking at, in the catalogue, the other, the other day actually, looking at the Wii games, seeing what I could get for me girls at Christmas, and, there's nothing, you know, not, not just for the girls, I mean, like, it's something for me to do as well, say if I'm, um, although I ain't got the Wii, my parents have, I thought, oh, hang on, if, if I want to play the Wii while they're asleep, I want a game that I could play, and there isn't, I think there's Goldeneye, I think that's probably the only game. But even then, I wouldn't buy it. Um, you know, there's no... 
you know, where, where's the Call of Duty games? Where's the Battlefield games? Where, where, where are the games for the adults? Where's the 18 plus games? These are the games I enjoy. Yeah, I'm sure they've got sports games like FIFA or whatever on there. Yeah. But I can get FIFA on the Xbox or the PS3 and I can get all the game, all the sort of games, all the different type of games I want. I can get strategy, my fantasy, all that on the Xbox. So why should I go out and pay 100 quid for a Wii if I'm just going to be playing Wii Sports? Because that's all I'll play it for is Wii Sports. So, and that's just a waste of 100 quid. So yeah, so you know, Nintendo needs to sort their act out. They need to stop living in the 80s, stop living in the past, stop trying to cater for children, because they will end up the way of Sega, which is unfortunate. Because um, Sega, you know, the Mega Drive was fucking fantastic. I fucking loved the Mega Drive. I went from the NES. To, um, I didn't get the SNES, as you just Super Nintendo. I never got that. Um, I went from Nintendo the original Nintendo to uh, Mega Drive and I loved I loved the games on the Mega Drive you had uh, I, I loved the strike games like Jungle Strike, Urban Strike Desert Strike um, even up to like in PS1 when you had Nuclear Strike oh, I loved that game Nuclear Strike you know and y you had other games on the Mega Drive as well you know like um, Double Dragon Revenge of Shinobi Golden Axe you know great arcade games you had on there. Um, I'm trying to think. Micro Machines! Who remembers Micro Machines? Fantastic game. <laughs> I love that one. They need to bring that one out, I'll tell you. They need to re release that. Um, so, you know, like Mega Drive and Sega had all these good games. Um, what done it for Sega, what really knocked them out of the console was, was Dreamcast, which was at the time was ahead of its time I believe um, you know it weren't, weren't a bad console it was a pretty good console but I think it was just too far ahead of its time uh, if they are hold hold out wait for them to all the PlayStation I think say what Sega Saturn did was it set it set the market up lovely for the PlayStation market and when PlayStation took off you know that, that that's all really helped them I think, anyway, uh, that's what I believe. I believe Sega Saturn actually set up the market right properly for PlayStation to kick off. But yeah, the, you know, the, see, Nintendo got to be careful because they'll end up just releasing games instead of releasing consoles. And they need to bring out a new console. And they need to bring out a console like the Xbox, like PS3. You need to be able to do online gaming like at the same level, same standards as these and bring out the game. You can still bring out your kiddie games, you know, the Xbox have kiddie games, PS3 has kiddie games. I'm, I ain't got a problem with that. But, you know, no teenager or young adult or, you know, an adult with a disposable income is going to spend it on a Wii or a console like the Wii where it's just catered for children and for really old adults who I only play it once in a while. You know, they, they want something that really, you know, th there's more meat. You know, they want meat and potatoes. They want more stuff in it. They want everything. They, they, they want a choice. They want variety. And you just don't get that with Nintendo anymore. You don't get it. The N64, you used to get a good. I think you. you didn't, I think that. I th actually, you come to think of it, I think the N64 had the same problem. I think I, th I think of one helicopter game they had, and I think again GoldenEye. That's probably why I'm thinking GoldenEye. It weren't on Wii, it was on that. But I don't, again, I don't think they catered for the more adult market or even the teenage market like Mega Drive did. I don't know. Um, that one. But anyway, if you agree with me, if you think Nintendo needs to do the things that I suggested, then. Please leave your comments, or if you think I'm talking absolute bullshit and it, there's nothing wrong with Nintendo, let me know. <laughs> leave some, leave a comment. Anyway, guys, I'm going to let this video run through, and um, I'll catch you all later. Okay, see you guys. Bye bye.